And I'm here with uh, Peter Starr at Madre Tierra Resort and Spa in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. And I'm just conversing with Peter about um, uh, some of the highlights of his career. Uh, Peter comes to us uh, on a tour, a motorcycle tour of Ecuador with Court Rand of the Freedom Bike Rental and Tours. Uh, and, tours. and uh, Peter, you were just saying that the, uh, the film that you did back in the day now, over 30 years ago, uh, the film Take It to the Limit has become really the defining uh, work in the area of motorcycle um, uh, movies. I've, I've been told that. Uh, I've sort of stepped back and, and not made comments or claims like that, but I've been told by journalists and people that, uh, as far as they're concerned, it was the best motorcycle racing film ever made. And uh, it did, in its day, um, use technology that William was in its infancy and we developed it in order to make that film. Now you get things like GoPro cameras and, uh, and uh, it's a piece of cake to do what we had to do with uh, cameras weighing, you know, 25, 30 pounds. And of course it was shot on film, which is a mechanical process, as opposed to today where everything's electronic. And so it's much, much easier today to create those kind of images than it was on film some 30, 35 years ago. Wow. And then your, uh, your journey has taken you to now, uh, last night actually we had an opportunity to preview the, uh, your, your new movie on uh, prostate cancer and defeating that in a natural way. Yeah, I've, uh, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer eight and a half years ago and um, I decided then based on what my doctor was telling me he wanted to do and looking at the statistics and looking at the, uh, they call them side effects, I've since learned to call them direct effects, that um, I need to look elsewhere to, to not only defeat prostate cancer, but start living a different life. And uh, what I've learned in eight and a half years uh, is that um, we bring on cancer through the way we live and the way we think, the way we eat, um, and we can reverse it by reversing what we do. Uh, the thing that, um, about my, my documentary, the new document, it took me three and a half years to uh, put together and it features 56 doctors from eight countries on three continents. It's very well researched and it has a lot of back, backing research. It comes, it's a three DVD disc set and it comes with a 40 page resource guide. And uh, in there is a name, address, telephone number of every doctor that's contributed. So that if anybody you know, decides they want to find out what that doctor would do for them, there's the contact right there. Right. Uh, but it's um, uh, like so many diseases that we have as we age, chronic diseases, we, uh, we bring them on ourselves. Hmm. And we just have to learn that uh, way, the way we live our life is likely to get us uh, a certain outcome. Hmm. And uh, if we don't want to have that outcome, then we really have to reevaluate what it is we're doing. And uh, what is the best way on the web to find you and your work? Uh, maybe two websites or at least one? Yeah, well, I, I, the, the, the prostate thing is it's called survivingprostatecancer.org. It's O-R-G. We're a charity. We're a 501c3 American charity. And um, that's where people can purchase the prostate cancer documentary. Uh, my motorcycle work, um, you can see that at motodvd.com, uh, motodvd.com or starfilm.com, that's S-T-A-R-R-F-I-L-M.com are the two best places to see that. Now Take It to the Limit currently has its own website, it's called takeittothelimit.tv. Uh, we'll be getting rid of that shortly and we're going to consolidate some of the websites, but we haven't done that yet. Right on. Well, once again, we're talking with Peter Starr and uh, I'm grateful to have a new friend here uh, in Ecuador, a new friend from the U.S. and uh, uh, to be able to provide him a home for a couple of nights. Well, you certainly got a wonderful place to visit. Uh, I, I love the hotel. The view you gave me from the room out there was spectacular. The valley is, is wonderful. And uh, I'm told it's the valley of longevity. And um, it's hard to, to figure that out in two days, I know. But, it's, uh, <laughs> but I think from what I've found and talking to other people that live here now, American expats and the British expat that we met last night, that. Um, it really takes you back in time, it takes your system back and uh, there's a much more relaxing way to live than perhaps we live on a day-to-day -day basis in, in Los Angeles. Peter is our um, a guest that we've had for two nights here and he's about ready to hit the road on this uh, Suzuki DL650. Take it Peter. It's a beast drum, it's perfectly balanced for this kind of riding that we've done in Ecuador. 
We've um, actually will have done about 1,500 miles by the time our 10-day ride is over, and uh, it hasn't missed a beat. And we've had just a wonderful time. I'm uh, thankful to uh, to Court Rand and his company, uh, Freedom Bike Rental and Tours, for putting this together for me. Um, without him, I would not have found anywhere near the number of great places that we've seen, the mountains we've been over, and, uh, and places like uh, Madre Tierra. I mean, uh, I would never have found this place if I'd have been left to my own devices. So I'm grateful for Court for doing that. It's been a wonderful two days. I particularly enjoyed meeting the people we met at the film show last night, and a um, great bunch of people. And, uh, and Peter, thanks for um, being such a, a generous host with us. I appreciate it.